Welcome back to Beery TV viewers. It is Chris Nichols here. It is Jordan Drake here. And yes, it is that time for our annual best and worst of 2022, where we look at our, our favorite and our least favorite things of gear that we've personally used ourselves. That's very important to keep in mind. Yeah, and we've always done, while we're ranking those, some kind of drinking game. Yes. And uh, we're in a different environment today. Yes. If you look around, there's um, video game, video game, yes. video yes. game. Uh, we're at our good friend Alex Mitchell's place. You've yes. probably seen him before on DP Review TV. And he's got some curated video game drinking challenges. Yes, for us. we're going to play retro uh, game. I don't, we don't have no idea what we're going to play. It's a surprise. But for our drinking, you guys always complain we don't get sloshed enough, which is ridiculous. But we're actually starting off our we're trip here. Pre drinking a little bit. This is the last of my Nika Pure Malt White. You can't get any more. It's my favorite whiskey of all time. If anybody has any hiding, I'll pay whatever is in Jordan's bank account for it. Let's get going. Alex, what are we doing? All right, boys, we're gonna be running six games that span the eras of 1977 to 2005. I wanna run a clean competition here, so no rage quitting, no standing in front of the television. Uh, today, we're gonna to be getting a little bit day drunk because in spite of the fact that I have all these video games and I'm clearly the coolest guy you know, I still have a fairly busy production schedule. Wait, is that an original Final Fantasy card? Oh, okay, anyways, um, so uh, we always do these drinking competitions. What are we actually drinking today? Well, we're gonna go with classic margaritas, not that stuff with the mix and the ice and the blender. So I'm gonna be doing Contro, tequila, we've got you know lime juice, and uh, that's gonna be our drink of choice today. Good, yummy. It's very strong. <laughs> strong equals yummy. Uh, our first category is gonna be best lens of 2022, but before you can do our runner up and our winner, some honorable mentions, hey, it was a good year yeah, for lenses. Great year for lenses. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would certainly put like all of the Nikon Super Telephotos yes. in the running, except we never got to use like production versions. No, so we can't reviews. really say. So we're they're not to follow eligible. the rules. Yeah. I, I was certainly vouching for the 9mm uh, Panel Leica. For great little lens. Third, yep. Super tiny. Great. I actually really like the Sony 1635 F4PZ, the power zoom. Even right. though it's intended for video, I actually found it to be a really compact, useful no, landscape. Lens. landscape yeah. Brilliant yeah. for that. But why don't we get into the runner-up, go for it. So our runner-up for best lens of the year is going to the Sigma 20 millimeter F1.4, the new Art DGDN version. Uh, first of all, it's just a very sharp lens at a focal length that I don't think gets enough love. And it's a great astrophotography lens, actually handles coma quite nice. But I thought it was such a great feature that it gives you an actual focus lock, a mechanical switch on the lens. So once you find your infinity focus when you're out shooting astro, just flick that switch, whether you turn the camera on and off, bump the focus ring, it's not gonna lose that, so you never have to refocus again. It's a great feature on an already very good lens, and that's why it's our runner-up. But our best lens for 2022, it's the Sony G Master 2470 version two, because this is such a wonderful redemption story. The fact is the original 2470 G Master was heavy, clunky, optically not very good. I mean, it was just, just disliked. And then when they made the second version, first off, compact, sharp, beautifully made. Uh, I mean, it, just everything that you wanted to improve on it, it improved, and it's such a useful focal length. So good on you, Sony, for that new G Mouse. Let's go play a video game. All right, video game time. So what are we looking at here? So we're looking at the Atari 2600 library, yes. which fairly simplistic by modern standards. I'm but too young, never had one. <laughs> I had one, consumers distributing. And for anybody <laughs> that knows what that is, oh, you're very old. What we're gonna be playing is a cartridge called Video Olympics, which functionally is Pong, okay? Wow. So no. we're gonna be doing competitive Pong. So Jordan, yep. there you go. Chris. Throw the, oh, there, there we go. go. Oh, wait, hey, I was already. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh, oh man, how about losing a pong? Why am I always hitting it straight? Oh, <laughs> I got cocky. Such skill. Eat <laughs> Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so we can call it at 15. I think we have to. Okay. Oh, oh, maybe, maybe I take that back. Can't take this. <laughs> no! Oh my God! Yeah! Oh! From behind. Oh. Yes. Wow. Take a big sip. Oh, you yes. Well, that was embarrassing. I, you know, it's just it's a generational. In my thing. defense, I've never used that. 
you, you know, know, when we get to, I don't know, what did you play when you were a kid? But like Super Nintendo. Yeah. Okay. Well, I did Anyways, a while. Oh, you're going to destroy it. Moving right along. Uh, this has been an incredibly good year for video cameras. Yes, it Our has. Our next category is Best Video Camera of the Year. And I had such a tough time with this. I mean, the GoPro 11 was actually a really Very substantial capable. upgrade with the more square sensor, which makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Now, I have to say, Panasonic GH6, I mean, great camera, but you already have a higher end S1H, and yet, once you got the GH6, that's pretty much all you shot from then yeah, on. Yeah, I've absolutely loved using it. A lot of that, it does come down to the glass, but right. it's an excellent video camera body, not as good as a still camera. We're just right. talking about video, awesome camera, but then also I've been playing with the R5C, which yeah. I'm really enjoying. All of my constant bitching about Canon with the like, can <laughs> I please get a histogram? They're like, no, better. I'll give you a waveform on it. Yeah. It's got a great video interface. I really enjoy using it. Oh, have that in the While other you're cameras rolling, is. Anyways, it's a great camera, okay. but it's not our official no. runner-up for camera of the year. Our runner-up is going to be the Sony FX30. I mean, first off, you got a brand new sensor. It offers almost full width recording. I mean, very minor crop, but you get 4K up to 60. With a crop, you get 4K 120. Uh, the video quality is fantastic. Also, the autofocus is super reliable, very easy to set up. For us in the field, we still wanted an EVF, and, and just the functionality that comes with a smaller package that doesn't need all the extra rigging. And so because of that, we're not going to call it our best of the year, but it is a fantastic choice for many people. So my pick for video camera of the year is a hybrid camera. It's actually going to go to the Fujifilm X-H2S. Now, I love the idea of having a stacked Super 35 sensor. It's going to work with so many of those great, like, classic cinema lenses that are out there. We get no crop, 4K, up to 60 frames per second. We have very nice 4K 120. And I love that we have an open gate 6.2K 3x2 recording, which we're not seeing on other cameras. If you need it more reliable, you can add a fan to it. It's just very feature packed and does a wonderful job. It is one of my favorite video cameras on the market. It came out this year. It's our video camera of the year. As I get drunk and play video games, my family is setting up the Christmas tree. <laughs> All right, fellas, so because it's a lot harder to film individual handheld Game Boys, what I've got here is the Mr. FPGA set up with the Game Boy 2 player core, which means... We can play two player it could only be one game. Exactly. You boys are playing competitive two-player Tetris with each other. Twenty twenty two. The sensors aren't the only things being stacked. <laughs> Oh, it sounds like somebody's music's very fast. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, 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 Jordan, this is looks not... like you're struggling. Yeah, bad run here. I'm getting my whistle ready. Oh, oh. balls. Oh, no. No, oh, no, why? That's it. Uh, yes. Uh, we have a winner. Way to go, Chris. <laughs> Here, I'll have a little sip, just because I'm a, I'm a gracious winner. Killing it. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Oh. Mother <laughs> you, you know what? You get cocky, and then it's just the it's wisdom that comes with age. Best camera of the year. Teach you a lesson, <laughs> child. Yes, best camera of the year 2022 is, uh, well, we've got a lot of choices here, but yeah. this is strictly photo camera. you got to keep that in mind. Okay. Um, we have some good choices. I mean, I enjoyed using the Canon R6 Mark II. We'll start there because that was actually one of the most recent ones we tried. Right. I mean, it's it's an upgrade in a lot of sure. ways, but it, there's nothing revolutionary about no, the camera. No, it's so a good all-around camera. Knock it back. I mean, I still haven't shot with it, but you had a great time with the Leica M11. I actually, why? Well, it's my favorite rangefinder I've used to date from Leica. Uh, there was another one. Yeah, the old one. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, Ah, the OM-1, yeah. I'm doing great. Again, you know, for me, the OM-1, I like it more as a hybrid camera. Um, you know, phot photography-wise, I do like the fact that it's got those computational modes, but Olympus has had them in the cameras, too. Right. Still fun, but not, not going to be our... It's our, not official no. runner-up, so let's do that. Okay. Our runner-up for camera of the year, I just finished talking about it, is the Fujifilm X-H2S, but for still photographers, it offers them a lot as well. I mean, if you're looking for a full frame camera with a stacked sensor, you're looking like 5,000 US dollars and up. This gives you access to a lot of those advantages. That super fast shooting rate up to 40 frames per second with full resolution on it. Autofocus is hugely improved. And I loved the handling of the X-H2S as well, having that really nice electronic viewfinder in there. And it is a camera that could tackle pretty much any type of photography. And for that reason, we thought it would be a really good runner up for best photo camera of the year.
Before we do camera of the year, Jordan, he's got Final Fantasy 1 up there. He's got Final Fantasy 3 slash 6 up there, but he's missing 2 slash 4, is, which is like the best. 3 is the best one. No, but... d d 4 and 7 and 8 were great. I never it, got I... into the Final Fantasy 4 oh, 2 thing. Man. But... Okay, 3 was fine slash 6. Anyways, the best camera of the year, while we're talking about fun, why I chose the Sony a7R5 as my best camera of yeah, the year. Yeah, I mean, definitely not best hybrid camera of the year. No, that's the thing. It's not the best hybrid camera, but we're getting that excellent 60 megapixel megapixel sensor. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I love also the, the new Leica menu. M11, one of our runner -ups. Yeah, well, but it's the new menu system. It's the fact that the autofocus be revamped. When they were telling us, honestly, that they've improved the deep learning capabilities with a new chip, I was like, that sounds like marketing bull to me. But actually, right. the autofocus works very well, mm -hmm. tracks insects, tracks animals. I mean, just it works well, and it's just an enjoyable experience. And I think overall, if I was going to pick a photo camera, it's full frame, it's high resolution, covers a lot of bases, you can do a lot with it. Maybe it doesn't shoot that fast, but you know. 10 frames per second stuff. is still it's pretty zippy zappy. Yeah. yeah, best camera of the year. I cool. mean, I can hold my liquor. Right. But like I am a little I know you are, yeah, yeah. That's right. I mean, we got an ounce and a half of tequila, we got an ounce of Contro, like, mm -hmm. that's 40%, man. All 40, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling it for sure. What are we doing, Alex? Oh. You're fighting for your life, literally and figuratively, on the streets. Okay, yeah. so this is. Oh, I knew this was going to happen. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Oh, fantastic. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, this okay. is great because, like, everybody's played this. Uh, the Capcom intro is the best thing of all time. Mm -hmm. UN Squadron showed up. And it's Turbo, okay. which is the correct version. Yes. Although, I am going to get you to play at normal speed. Okay. So, yes, because right. yes, we're old. Yeah. Right. We got a Ryu versus Ken fight yeah. right off the top. Yeah. All Japan! Right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Come on, you mother... Oh, man. Oh. Oh, oh, what? oh no. Oh. oh! Oh, round one. All right, we have to change characters. All right, Those we have to change. Okay, fine. Best yeah. of three. So, I'm, what? I'm using Saga. Yes. Da, 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 da. Boys, I gotta turn this up. <laughs> oh, man. Let's jam on it. Oh, man, Saga. Oh, man, I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh. oh. Jordan's back. Don't call it a comeback. Ooh, E-Honda. Thailand. Thailand. You know, I find the representations of several of these characters culturally insensitive. <laughs> yeah, probably. Round three of three. Wow. You always go to that. Oh. No! Oh, why? Oh. All right. Big joke. <laughs> <laughs> Well, one of us is going to be really drunk for this episode. I guess let's move on to the worst of the year, Chris. Mm. Jordan Drake playing video games. Time out. Normally we'd have a halftime show with fireworks and cheerleaders, but they reserve that specifically for channels that have over a half a million subscribers and DP Review TV is not quite there yet. So if you guys want to see more quality content like this, let's get those subscriber numbers up. Hit like and subscribe. Well, hey, there's still three games to go. Great. All right, and let's let's get to our next category. Now it's time for worst gear of the year, and we're gonna start with worst lens. Okay. I mean, this was really tough. It's yes. been a great year for glass. Like even some of them that we considered, I really liked. It's weird. It's been such a weird year for ultra wide lenses. Right. We had a lot of wide lenses this year. The Laowa twelve twenty four. I really like, but it wasn't the very. The Sea Dreamer. But it wasn't very. It was a maximum aperture of five six. It wasn't very sharp at five. No, six. you had to stop down to really get the most out but of it, I which was is saying, fine. But, but I, I was saying to Chris, like, if that lens. To Chris, was, that's me. Yeah, I was You're saying to so you drunk. before this started. <laughs> this is great. Um, if that lens was just a maximum f8 at the same price, I'd still think it's a great option because it is okay. so small and well corrected. Sure, I mean, okay, so it's not our it's not our worst lens of the year. So then, uh, the Panasonic 18 mil 1.8. I mean, it's a great video lens. I do wish it was sharper. Yes, because I think it would have been a great photo video hybrid. But I would still probably grab the Sigma 20 mil or like runner up. Totally, which is Absolutely. a very similar price Absolutely. point. Absolutely, Chris, what is the worst lens of the year? Well, you're doing the worst lens of the year, Jordan. It's your oh, turn. Okay, uh, worst lens. Of the year, I mean, this makes sense for me because it is designed as more of a video-centric lens, 
the Fujinon 18 to 120 mil, the power yeah, zoom. Yeah, it was 18 one. to 120. The yeah. power zoomy one. We test it and it's not very sharp. And I don't. For photography, it's it's rough. Usually you'd say, like, it's a video lens. It doesn't have to be that sharp. But they rolled this out at the exact same time as the XH2S, which is shooting same 26 megapixels for video. You need that sharpness. You open need the sharpness. gate mode, so you're not even losing the corners. And the XH2 with its 8K recording, these are very. But again, but again, it was a hard stuff. time. It was a hard year for lenses uh, to pick bad ones. I mean, it's still a decent lens. It's just, yeah, we had some issues. With I was it. very, better. I was very disappointed with it. Thank you for helping me through this, Chris. Okay, fellas, we are going with the time-honored competitive benchmark of GoldenEye 007. Oh. 64 minimum health. Okay. okay. Slappers only. Slappers. Slappers only. Sla oh. <laughs> so first off, I've never played GoldenEye, so. <sighs> I don't, I, this is, you might win this one. So I just need to run up to Jordan and slap him in the face. Exactly. I've done that many times in real life on camera. I think this, I think I got it. Let the slapping begin. <laughs> Die, bastard. <laughs> Why? Right? Not a single hit landed. <laughs> oh, you're How precise do you have to be? Oh my oh. God. Oh, one hit down. This is bull <laughs> <laughs> give me a gun! Give me a gun quick! Oh! <laughs> I'm not getting the slap mechanic down. Oh no. Oh. Yes! The internet's gonna be so mad at us for how bad we're doing at this. I know. <laughs> but it's like a very thinking, it's a thinking man's game. Like you got Well, it's not when you have Guns, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it. Three out of five. Oh, oh, oh no. double. <laughs> like what? that? Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of all of these incredibly close matches. I'm the comeback <laughs> king, baby. Drink that, dr oh. chill, chill that drink. You know what, I'm a bad winner. I just realized that. <laughs> yeah. It's the first time I won. And I, That's yeah. okay, you deserved it, you deserved it. Uh, so our worst video camera of 2022. Now the fact is, there weren't really any honorable mentions like no because like i said it was been uh, it was been was an amazing been a, year it was been a good year for video cameras but right at the end of the year sony managed to sneak one through um, yes the zv1 f okay now, in my review i said like basically as you take features away to hit a really affordable price the more that you do that, the less reason there is to use that camera instead of like, your smartphone. So just to be clear, you're not upset about the fact that we've got a fixed lens with a smaller chip, right? I mean, like that, that wasn't necessarily a bad thing. No, I think thing. you could still do that in an interesting way. It's the other decisions like contrast detect autofocus when one of right. Sony's big strengths is their great autofocus. And For it does sure. give you some wibbly wobblies with that. No stabilization whatsoever. Like they have electronic stabilization, but feeling honestly a your phone wibbly, does it right now. Your phone does it better. I, I understand they're trying to hit a price point. I just think most people looking at that should just use their smartphone. Right. Okay. So it's just, it's too close to something that we already carry already. Okay. It's not a good camera. Okay. Was I like clear and succinct and well-spoken? Sure. Here we go, fellas. What are so, we playing? I'm trying to represent a bunch of different genres here, and you might have noticed that yep. one of the emissions so far has been racing. Oh, now, of course. Right, okay. Uh, you know, obviously there are a lot so of... So Gran Turismo. <laughs> I got it. Or Burnout. No, okay, so oh, <laughs> to, to keep things simple, we're going to go with Mario Kart 64. It's a classic. Yes. What? Everybody no, wait, wait, wait. My Can kid we... and I no, have no, been no. playing Mario Kart. Can we please night? do the SNES version, because I know that you have it. <laughs> I do have it, but I'm sorry. The oh, it's already, it's already queued up. Here we go. This okay. new stuff doesn't make any sense. There this is a, this is 25 years old. <laughs> oh my god, we're so old. All right. I'll so. drive, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so okay, what A, do we A is drive? Yeah. Here. Wait, I no, it's not, it's not fair. It's not fair. I don't know the controls. <laughs> oh. Lap two dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, Jordan, you got this. Oh, no. Oh, no, I set a trap oh, no, for myself. <laughs> oh, man. Last lap. What? Reverse. 
<laughs> what? Alex, where do I go? What are you doing? You gotta go up that way. <laughs> where? There's left, 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 left. This stupid <laughs> video. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so... Okay. All right, okay, all right. This eclectic mix of games has been fantastic. I think we've been challenged in many different ways, and I very much enjoyed it. Uh, I'm let's... so angry at your ability to enunciate your uh, thoughts. <laughs> let's, do, let's do our worst camera of 2022, and then we will get to our mystery game. Worst camera of the year. Okay. So, before we get to worst camera of the year, I think we should talk about... We've often in the past talked about, like... Okay, there's no bad cameras released, but what was the least improved? And this was an interesting year because we, we saw had some very unimproved OM system OM5. Yeah, I mean it's basically just a processor. Is it even a new processor? I guess. No, it's a new I processor. think it's the same hardware uh, as EM5. And, and they just put in some of the computational features, and it's a good camera, but it sure. is definitely not a huge advancement. You know what? Is it a really embarrassing upgrade? Well, I mean, it's, it's about the same. It's about the same, the Pentax KF. No, no, that is a worse upgrade. <laughs> it is, we've moved the screen from 900,000 dots to one Over million a dots. million, yes. over a million, that's huge. Two new picture profile. I mean, clearly, yeah, they just couldn't get the parts for the old camera, so they right. changed the model number of it. Uh, but I was hoping for something more. But that doesn't make them Pentax. bad cameras, right? I mean, bad cameras are okay. You release a camera, you have an intention for it, but it just doesn't hit the mark. It doesn't work. But right? is there, yeah, is there a camera that is designed for an audience and doesn't fulfill that audience's needs? I think we have one. What is okay? It? So our worst camera of the year. It seems like Jordan and I are really big on the vlogging industry right now. But so many manufacturers have made vlog style cameras, hoping for a market renaissance. There, I just don't see it. It's the Z30 from Nikon. So first off, we don't have an EVF. None of them do. It's really unfortunate, but we also don't have a headphone jack. And we really think that's a big deal. The Sony ZV-E10 at least does have a headphone jack. We think that's important. When you're recording levels, you don't see it when you're actually doing the vlogging aspect of the Z30. I mean, that's so key. For photographers, it's not a good buy. Go for the ZFC, it's beautiful. Go for the Z50, it's functional. It's not that much more money. And for the vloggers, there's better choices out there that just give you more capabilities beyond your smartphone. And really, that's the metric that you have to beat. How do you get people off the smartphone to vlog? You gotta make a full feature camera and the Nikon Z30 just isn't that. Okay, so Alex, um, there's nothing on the TV. You turned it off. You're wrapping up controllers. What goes on? I thought Let's... we were going to do one more round. What's our next round? Up on round Not that six, I want to lose but... again. <laughs> Not with that attitude. But, uh, <laughs> we need to go to a room in the house that has a little bit more space for this next game. What? If you make me dance, I swear to God, Alex. I'm scared. I don't want to do this. Okay, bring your drink. No. What the f No. No. Alex, I'm so drunk. <laughs> All right. All hey, right. you know what? Exercise is great. You'll sweat out the booze. Who's winning? Alex, who's winning? <laughs> no! Oh, no! Yes! Okay. Round one goes to Chris. I'm going to turn the music up a little bit so you guys can just Yeah, make it. it, make it bumping. <laughs> This is a terrible, terrible idea. I'm doing awesome. I beat that out of you. You think so? I don't know. It's a terrible show. It's a new show. Okay. Final round. Oh! Ref! 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 One more song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one more song. Yeah. Why is your bar filled up? Oh, come on! Oh, you totally got it. Give me the clean round. Drink your drink. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. A whole new record. No one has ever danced that well. Yeah, because he hasn't had the machine plugged in for years. There we go. Ridiculous. He cheated. He cheated. Everybody saw that he cheated. So, uh, first of all, big thanks. First of all, first of all. No, roll through it. No, no. First of all, big thanks to Alex Mitchell for hosting. He curated beautifully the games we were going to play. It was fun. Um, it was super fun. Um, I'm sure he could do it three times over. He's got such a collection. But uh, Three times? <clears throat> five, ten times. But you did great. Thank you. You did great. 
Um, why am I so drunk when I was the one who won 4-2? Okay. Do I have to take over? So yeah. thank you so much for watching. This is a pleasure to do every year. Yes. Uh, we will see you all again. Uh, I mean, we still have a few episodes left in 2022. Oh, but totally. 2023 is going to yes. be a banger. Check out the rest of our videos, though, because this is a time of year where we have lots of predictions and stuff. And we like look at a lot of stuff like retrospectively. So you should definitely check that out. So sub, uh, you know, subscribe. Alex already told you to subscribe, but you should do it again just in case. There's, there's like social drunk, media I am, things. You may have forgotten to click that. I don't know if Twitter's still going to be around when this video no, comes out. I don't know. Or click whatever else we're on. I don't know. But, you know, comment below. We really appreciate it. I feel that. like this is longer than it should be. Thank you no. so much for watching. I'll see you again with another episode of... Uh, Deep Ruby TV. I'll see you again, too. Probably sober, sadly.